so we gather today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Today we have the Gospel of Jesus challenging the people in the temple who do not know where he came from. We think sometimes of how Christ comes into our life, especially in times of suffering. So let's offer this Mass up for those who've asked our prayers and for our own unworthiness to be the disciples of Jesus we pray Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy May Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting Amen Let us pray O God, who has prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their, their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom The godless say to themselves with their misguided reasoning, Let us lie in wait for the virtuous man, since he annoys us and opposes our way of life, reproaches us for our breaches of the law, and accuses us of playing false to our upbringing. He claims to have knowledge of God and calls himself a son of the Lord. Before us he stands, a reproof of our way of thinking, a very sight of him weighs our spirits down. His way of life is not like our other men's. The path he treads are unfamiliar, in his opinion we are counterfeit. He holds aloof from our doings as though from filth. He proclaims the final end of the virtuous as happy and boast of having God for his Father, let us see if what he says is true. Let us observe what kind of end he himself will have. If the virtuous man is God's son, God will take care of him as his part and rescue him from the clutches of his enemies. Let us test him with cruelty and with torture, and thus explore this gentleness of his and put his endurance to the proof. Let us condemn him of a shameful death, since he will be looked after, we have his word for it. This is the way they reason, but they are misled. Their malice makes them blind. They do not know the hidden things of God. They have no hope that holiness will be rewarded. They can see no reward for the blameless souls. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord is near to broken-hearted. The Lord is near to the broken-hearted. The Lord turns His face against the wicked to destroy the remembrance from the earth. The just calls and the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. The Lord is near to the broken-hearted. The Lord is close to the broken-hearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will rescue them. The Lord is near to the broken-hearted. He will keep guard over all his bones. Not one of his bones shall be broken. The Lord ransoms the souls of his servants. Those who hide him shall not be condemned. The Lord is near to the broken-hearted. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. No one lives on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according 
to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus stayed in Galilee, but he could not stay in Judea because the Jews were out to kill him. As the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles drew near, after his brothers had left for the festival, Jesus went up as well, but quite privately, without drawing attention to himself. Meanwhile, some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, Isn't this the man they want to kill? And here he is speaking freely, and they have nothing to say to him. Can it be true the authorities have made up their minds that he is the Christ? Yet we all know where he comes from. But when the Christ appears, no one will know where he comes from. Then, as Jesus taught in the temple, he cried out, Yes, you know me, and you know where I came from. Yet I have not come of myself. No, there is one who sent me, and I really come from him. And you do not know him, but I know him, because I have come from him, and it was he who sent me. They would have arrested him then, but because his time had not yet come, no one laid a hand on him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. We approach these readings as Holy Week draws closer in the sense of rejection of Jesus. They say they cannot abide this virtuous man, they say that in the first reading. And sometimes we find ourselves resenting those who are, who are an example to us, who just by their very good way of life remind us that sometimes we're not so good and we can resent them. And that was what's happening to the prophets of old, as it says there in, in the Book of Wisdom. But the reply of the gent virtuous man is gentleness. Gentleness and acceptance of their anger. And of course that is a figure of Christ who is going to go into Holy Week as the gentle one, attacked and wounded, beaten and scourged but replying with his own gentleness. And in the Gospel they say, look, who is this man? We know where he comes from, but we won't know where Christ comes from. And it's that old story of not being able to recognise the Christ in our midst. He was there, but they did not recognise him as the Christ. And we have that daily challenge to ourselves, to be able to recognise the Christ in other people around us. Even in people who are difficult to see and like. Mother Teresa of Calcutta said that, that the poor are often people who are difficult to wish to serve. It's not easy to be a Christian, not easy to go that extra step, not easy to make sure our hearts are charitable. We look to the Jesus and ask for his grace and his strength that we might be like him ever more each day. There are people who have asked our prayers one of our parishioners, his brother, has contracted the coronavirus. Another parishioner, his wife, is suffering from that muscular syndrome. And, and the third, uh, there is unemployment. And I'm sure that those people's prayers are just as good as mine but they have asked for those prayers. So we offer them up now, that the Lord hear the cry of their distress. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, we heard in the psalm, and the Christ may come closer to them. 
in a time of sorrow. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis, that he might lead the church with wisdom and grace. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those people, those poor people who have been laid off, knowing their anxiety, praying that the curse of this coronavirus will pass sooner rather than later, and for our own strength in it, that we might continue to wish to serve our neighbour whatever way we can. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And we make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who have become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we be made sharers in the divine life of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our human life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we now offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Lord God, be pleased to receive us and accept the sacrifice we offer you with humble and searching hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and good all his holy church. Amen. May the sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity. We ask you to hear our prayers, our Lord which we make to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with all the saints, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, the spouse of Mary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. So taught by Jesus, we now dare to pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that through the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace be with you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace be with you, peace in your homes, peace in your families. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words, and my soul shall be healed. 